You can load the boat quick. All it takes is one school. That's a good one too, right there. Man, these are all. <laughs> Look at that, doubling up on keepers. There we go. That's a good one. One of them good old good ones. One of them good old good ones. That's them tanks. One of them tankers. Look at that. Look at that mouth, son. That's one of those big marks I was going after on the bottom. Hey guys, welcome back to In It For The Limit Fishing. Today we're out here uh, actually doing a bit of treasure hunting. Last time we were out here, I was out with Shannon and I'm actually just picking up right where we left off. Uh, we finished right over, right over in this way about right out there last time and uh, we had to go the sun the, was setting we had a great day and so we're going to pick back up uh, right through here i'm going to backtrack some other areas and uh see what beds i can find now the good part about treasure hunting is you're moving a lot and this time of year it helps to move because these fish will sometimes mix in you'll sometimes get uh, bluegill and stripe and things last time we we're out we had a lot of mixed beds and so trying to get those crappie to bite, um, you got to get to them and uh, coax them out of there. So sometimes it helps to move. Some schools are active, some of them are not, but um, it helps to move a lot this time of year in the fall. So we're gonna get to it, see what we can do and uh, see if we can hit some, find some decent schools and hopefully find some new marks out here. All right, let's get to it. Well, that's interesting. There we go. So that's why I stick to it. So just to show you why I'm here and what I was doing. All these big crappie will sit in smaller schools. This is about a eleven and a half inches, not huge. Still a good size crappie. This one's a 12 incher. So <clears throat> This was 12 inches. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. So there are more than just crappie here. The crappie that I'm shooting for are the ones that are lined up. They got kind of scattered when I caught that one. But these right up through here are crappie. Now you'll see some. They've kind of scattered too. Swimming out here like this right here. And those are little white bass or stripe. And uh, I've actually had some bluegill too. So when you're trying to talk, when I'm trying to target, are these that are more stationary. See how they're holding on to that pole? They're not moving a lot. Uh, these off here on the offshoot, 
Uh, I'm not sure if those are crappie or not, but these that are really holding steel right there, like this one right there on the bottom, that's what this uh, other 12 incher was doing. So this is a lot of uh, snipe fishing right here, which um, without the scope, kind of hard to do. But since we do have the scope, we're doing it. So that's what I'm targeting right there. Trying to get these fish that aren't necessarily in a massive school that are a little bit bigger. So here's what I'm talking about out here running. And I said, these right here, those are striped. That right there is probably, he, gets, he keeps getting run off a little bit, but he's been staying in those same spots and trying to hold tight to it. into a tree here. I pulled us right over this so we can vertically jig it. So we're just dropping down on a tree. Uh, had some little bites. I don't know if it's a little crappie or bluegill. Pulled a 12 inch or pulled a keeper uh, just now off of it. Well, I threw that one back. Had some parasites all over it so we'll let him keep swimming. All right. Blue bar, double. Keeper. <laughs> we have gotten into a lot of bluegill. Measure this. See how big I think it's another 11. So we've gotten into a lot of bluegill and what we're fishing, but uh, these seem to have more crappie and I've caught two out of here. Also caught a strap. Uh, I don't know if it's the gulp. I'm getting a lot of those little bluegill hits. So I'm having to weed through them to get to the crappie. They're all kind of mixed in. And that happens this time of year. Sometimes these fish will run together in the fall and you kind of got to weed through them. So let's see if we can get some more crappie. You also got a strong current and I'm casting. I was letting it drift with the current through the bed, which is what I normally do, but I switched it up. I positioned myself above it. I'm casting out and letting it swim up through the current. I don't know if it's presented a little bit better, but I'm having a little bit more luck with the crappie doing it that way. far we've had nothing but keepers and this one is definitely a 
Hook keeper. Might go 13. He's not 14, but he might go 13. Let's see. I'm gonna guess. Maybe 12 and a half. Maybe 13. Almost 13. 12 and three quarters. Almost there. Not quite. All right. Back to work. Go for this one down here on the bottom. It looks like. There we go, that's a good one. Might have messed him up. <laughs> hit, but... Mm-mm. Pulled right there. Come on. There we go, got him that time. Another one. He looks about the same size. I try to, when they're feeding, I try to just keep pounding them because uh, they will turn off, especially if you keep pulling too many out. So I'll try to take advantage of it while they're eating. They'll get tired here in a minute and try to get the most out of the school I can. Getting kind of funny today. I don't know if it's the bait or if it's I know there's bluegills in this mix so I'm trying to get through them and get to the crappie and this there we go like that right there another one this one's going to be another 12 plus. This is going to be right at 13. This one's like 12 and 7 eighths. He's really close to 13, not quite. Close it now. So I've been fishing since 5.30. I came out here about, oh, I don't know, 1. 30 or 2 was the time I got out here. So I only had three in several hours. Hit this one bed. That's the good thing about crappie fishing. Hit this one bed and caught five keepers in a row back to back. Just bam, bam, bam. In a matter of minutes. So, it's a cool thing about crappie fishing. You get into a good school, especially a good size school, as far as like length, size. You can load the boat quick. All it takes is one school. That's a good one too, right there. Man, these are all. <laughs> Look at that, doubling up on keepers. Pretty sure at bottom, I know a top will keep. Pretty sure at bottom is a, a keeper as well. Let me try to snap a pick of this. All right. Come on. I'll get to you in a minute, buddy. Just don't come on, friend. Make sure this one keeps 
Oh, come on, beekeeper. Mm. Not the measured one. Separately, if he jumps up, it's fine. I know this is a keeper. He's not a love and answer. Uh, let's go ahead and click that. This might be my first throwback today. And actually, you know what? He crosses the line. These over here seem more active. I don't know if those are two sections of this bed. This one side, they're pretty. I don't know. Well, it's crappie. I was gonna say he's felt like bluegill, but mm -mm -mm. all day long. Twice on Sundays. There's a keeper, just one thing. We're still sticking at this 12. Yep, this 12. <clears throat> so, if you're wondering why I'm measuring it quick, when I do a quick measurement like that, he was slightly over 12, but I didn't have his mouth closed all the way. So, I round it down to 12 because it was, when I close his mouth, he would drop to right at 12, even though he was over 12. If you want a good measurement take time to close his mouth it's a lot of open mouth uh, measurements when you it makes a big difference you make an inch difference uh oh each time you catch one you i mean you're pulling that one out but you're also going to scatter several depends on how spooky they are i don't know if this gulp's going to work i got well, gotta buy it. I don't know if you can see them starting to leave or not, but they are starting to run. Now they only don't run far, so if there's another bed over here, we might be able to get into them. What I'm getting now are a little bitty ticks, so we got the leftover leftover guys out here. I think we've extinguished this bed just sitting on it. Control motor. So we got some on this side. They've shifted over here. It's same bed, it's just different. Different section. Both's not moved. It's a different section of it, so we're gonna I don't know if you can see that, but they're stacked in there. You can see them stack, which lets you know those should be crappie. How big they are, though. Ooh, should have got that one. That was my fault right there. I don't know who else's fault it'd be, but I totally messed that one up. I'm just gonna let it dangle here because there's some big fish swimming around. There we go. Tanks, one of them tankers. Look at that! Look at that mouth, son. That's one of those big marks I was going after on the bottom. All right, let's get a measurement on this one. It's almost. Slightly over 15, about 15 and a half. Oh, 15s. I sure would like to take that 16 mark sometime. But that's a good old 15.
here, fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy. <clears throat> yep, another good one. <clears throat> another good one. Look at that. He's not like he's 15. Might be 14 now. Sorry, I got you all pointed down. No, oh, he's 13. Didn't even hit the 14 mark. It's all right. We'll take you anyways. We might have to move. We'll see. <clears throat> Got somebody interested. You better be a keeper if you're coming up here. You didn't bite it like a keeper, you bit that like a little bluegill. Gonna have to search some more. That one. That one took it. That one took it. So those marks are, wow, look at that. Hit that way down in there. How about 11, 12 incher. Again, so when I measure it like this real quick, I'm not closing his mouth, it measures 12 inches. When you close its mouth, see that dropped to 12. So if it's slightly over, I'll round it down. See, like open mouth he's over 12 but when you close it he'll cinch down there so <laughs> oh. so that's why i'm fishing this school Another good one. About 14 right there. There we go. Finally got you. That was a lot of work, son. Coax you out of there. This one's not as big, but he'll keep. It makes 16 keepers, but I've only kept 15. I threw one back. So I've got, got a limit. Not a single non-keeper, as far as I can tell. Let me double check on this one. He should be a keeper. But it's double checking. That's all she wrote. <clears throat> Alright guys, the sun is starting to set, so it's time to take it to the house. Got 16 total keepers, only kept 15. Uh, had one that had uh, parasites or something on it, so I had to throw that back. So, uh, every single crappie today was a keeper. Didn't catch any throwbacks. Did catch a lot of bluegill and some other things. Um, and that's part of it this time of year, those bluegill and stripe, everything's uh, chasing and feeding. So you'll get into a uh, piece of cover and it might be loaded with multiple species of fish. And it's kind of hard to get into those crappies sometimes, especially when you're fishing something like a gulp bait where everything likes to hit it. Uh, didn't have any minnows today, so that might have made a difference. Uh, just use gulp and uh, bobby garlands and uh, a couple different colors. Use the chartreuse and then the flake, a white and a, a black and silver flake. Um, uh, Bobby Garland on the top and um, 
moved a lot today and that's part of fall fishing you got to move a lot we i catch one or two here and then move uh eventually i did find one bed that was loaded with keepers and so uh, you'll see that hopefully and uh, it was one after another went from uh, three to i think like 12 or so uh keepers back to back and got a, a almost a 15 and a half uh, around that that and a 13 back to back lots of 12s um might see uh when I get home, maybe we'll weigh these, so we'll see if that makes it on here and see what the weight is. Might get that in there if I remember. But uh, key to this time of year, move, move, move. Do lots of bouncing, which is why um, having good electronics helps with that. You don't have to have a live scope, but uh, it's easy to find cover with, with live scope. And that's the part of live scope that's cheating. A lot of people think that it's uh, seeing the fish bite, and, and that's kind of fun. It's neat, but the real part of uh, live scope that is the cheating part in my opinion is the fact that you can find so much cover so quickly um i'm not seeing a 360 i've used perspective mode uh like a 360 on the live scope um it's almost like a live 360 but you don't see some of these beds as easily so um having the live scope really helps you hone in on that cover and, and target it and be able to stay back off of it so uh, this time of year when you're moving a lot if you don't have the electronics knowing if you set your own cover uh, if you set your own things out, mark your waypoint. Uh, having lots of those to hit is the key in fall, in my opinion. Uh, it's a lot of moving, which is why a lot of people like to troll this time of year, too. So if you like what you see, hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, guys, keep chasing that limit.